Hey you guys, it's Marissa. So it's a very lazy, chilly, kind of chilly day here in California. Um, my husband went back to work today after three weeks of helping me heal. And so I, I'm pretty much on my own, but I'm feeling okay. Um, I rented a red box of The Fault in Our Stars. I read the book, which I wasn't like, it wasn't as good as everybody had made it out to be. But I didn't watch it when it first came out because homegirl had the same cancer that I did so it wasn't being the warrior that I am it probably wasn't a good idea hers did spread to her lungs and you don't want thyroid cancer in your lungs you, you don't want it to spread and we are currently watching a small mass in my lungs but they are being optimistic about it and I am too so oh you know, I'm trying to just not <clears throat> worry about that right now because I am a survivor so I thought you know I, I want to see what's so big about this movie and so I rented it. I'm going to curl up. Uh, Damien's homesick, but I'm going to curl up and try to watch it. So anyways, this has been sitting on my desk and I was going to do a video with my layouts too, but I just wanted to kind of do this one so I could get it put away. I think I showed this one. This was a very busy month for us. I think I showed this side. I um, had said that I'm trying to use up kits. So I just kind of now just grab the stacks from my, um, my, these right here. I have three of these uh, of my Project Life cards. These are the Close to My Heart. Um, oh gosh, you know, boxes. And so I do have my Razcog card has more Project Life cards in it, but not really ones that I use that much. This is a really like, I don't even care how I did it. I usually take from my kits, like I'll cut out, you know, the four by six, like from Studio Calico and I'll just cut out a, I don't, I didn't type them. I don't, I just didn't care about that. You know, it just needs to say what is in here. So um, this is how, you know, I do it. So what I've been doing is like, here's my simple story. So I'm just kind of just, here's every day. You know what I mean? I'm just grabbing them and I'm just making myself use those. So this is, this is mini kits and like a mix. The other two are Project Life kits specifically. And then I don't know what's on my Razcog. But anyway, so that, I must put it here. Maybe I can put it. That's how I'm doing my project life right now. I'm just taking a stack. I don't match to pictures and stuff like that. So here we go. This might not work, but I think I showed that one last. So I'm using the flippable one because um, it was a busy month and I bought them and I need to use them. So I'm not going to go too quick, but this is just about um, uh, Sacramento Kings. One of the players came to a mall. It's about 40 minutes away. And I put ditching school because... Um, Damien was out of school because he's in a traditional school, but these kids are in year round. So I pulled them out of school so we could go stand in line. Not a big purple fan, but because the Kings have purple in them, you know, I pulled out some, I found some thin purple washi. So that was pretty much all I did here. This is the um, print shop six by six. That's another thing I'm trying to do is just um, cut apart my six by sixes. Um, this one right here just says starstruck. This was Damien getting an autograph. They didn't let you take pictures with the players, which I think is just stupid. And don't judge me, but I was going to pull the autism card. I do pull the autism card in dire situations. Usually the school district or I use it, uh, you know, for Max and Damien when we go to Disneyland because that gets us at the front of the line. And it's not like I'm using it. I mean, my, there is a reason why we can't stand in lines you know, in Disneyland because of Max and Damien just aren't able to do that. Wouldn't be a fun experience. So anyways, I was going to try to talk to her and say, you know, can my son blah, 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 but this guy was staring me down. So he took his poster and got it signed and finally use, using more of my Tim Holtz hashtag stamp. Um, I'm so excited I found this. I'm not a themey person, but I found this at Tuesday morning. It was only $3 and I sat there. I was like, you know, I'm not do I, will I use it? Because I'm just trying not to buy things I don't use. I bought this a few months ago, but because Damien's so into basketball and we are too, I thought, you know what? I could totally use that. I have so many pictures. So I've been using it on some Project Life spreads. And so I, I put the court here. I put his name. This is just him walking. He's short. He's one of the short NBA players. He's not on our team anymore. Traitor. But anyway, I think he's only like 5'8 or 5'7. He's as tall as Damien. Um, so anyways, this was a, this, I bought this a long time ago and it was red and this happens to be his number. So I just thought that was funny. So I got a Sharpie and painted it black. 
because that is one of the colors of our jerseys. Max thought I actually shrunk Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> it was funny. So I love when I find old stuff. Like these are old basketball stickers. I think I got years ago. I just love finding things that I can use. So I had these um, flares made for the Kings and I had them made actually for all the sports team. Niners, Notre Dame. And so I was able to pull them out and use them. He's just showing his poster. And this is just another one of those collages I made on the selfie um, printer. The thing about these is that when you do it in these collages, it kind of surprises you and it puts in the pictures for you. So all there's been a couple times I've had to reprint because I didn't want, you know, the big ones. So I'll show you on another. I have another one back here, but this is just with the, um, this is Mila getting her autograph. And this is just the mascot. He's kind of a jerk, but you know, he was totally going to like all these young thin skinny girls with their boobies hanging out like really so yeah he was like hanging out and chasing all of them so I had to like pull on his tail like dude get over here my little kids want to take a picture with you so anyways um gosh my project life is just getting busier it's like kind of doesn't look good it's so busy anyway so I pulled out on this one simple stories again actually this is the love one this is just Max. We went with him to his field trip. It's a huge uh, pumpkin patch near our house, but it was turned into dinosaur, like a nature kind of thing. So he was able to, he was all in them bones. He loves like a sensory kind of thing. So he got to dig for bones. And I used one of these jars. Um, I got like a pack of like 10 of these, I think from Hobby Lobby. I had no idea what I was going to use with them, but I thought it kind of went with you know, the theme of what they were doing with animals and insects and stuff. And I used, because I don't have any pens to color with, um, I have these Crayola washable, yeah, look, I can't even color a dang lid. So <clears throat> this is that new Heidi Swap date stamp that didn't stamp very good. Um, Mila, we found out, is allergic to some more foods. This was cashews this day. Uh, it wasn't EpiPen worthy, but it was Benadryl worthy. So I just snapped this picture. Brandon was... Um, helping me with take care of her and I thought that was sweet this is my husband being goofy with the kids like he always is he's such an awesome dad he's just I don't know whatever <laughs> so this was Mila's field trip um this was at the end of the night so I didn't care what it looked like as you can see the stamp got dirty I typed this on my typewriter it was crooked um but you know, and then I had to scrounge because again, I don't have anything themey. So I had to find some kind of piece of food. This was to our school district. She got to learn how school lunches were made. So not as fun as the dinosaur field trip, but she loved having the hairnet. So it was just me and her went that day. Um, and so this was Easter again. I, I didn't have any Easter stuff, but I found this Easter project life card. So I stuck that in there and cut out an egg from one of the cards and that was the kids dyeing their eggs. It's probably their favorite part. Um, we went to my grandmother's for Easter, and that's their cousin. And this was just um, a project, or you know, one of the cards. So I just made it simple and stuck that on there. Uh, I used my foodie stamp from Ellie Studio, but obviously you can't really read it. But um, I make this every Easter: chocolate chip Belgian waffles, cinnamon rolls, and turkey bacon. So they love it. And this was Brandon in a play. And again, like I had these old pirate stickers and I just like when, I don't know why I bought it. it must've been, I think when Max was a baby and he's eight. So I, like I said, I love finding these old things. And, um, and, you know, when I first started doing project life, I was like, Oh, you know, stick to trendy. Like I would never put something like this or an egg. But again, it's like, this is for the kids. This is for me, but this is ultimately for my children to have. And I want it to, you know, I mean, I know they'll be older, but, you know, just, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to just add things like this. It's like, that's what makes it fun. Um, so anyways, I, so I found some crossbones and some jewels and I thought it was perfect. This is Brandon just being silly. So there was nothing more to say but that. <laughs> and up here, we finally got a professional soccer team. We're not only a basketball family, we're soccer. So this was the, um flyer and again I found these old soccer balls I didn't know what to put here so Troy took Brandon his friend and Max my dad got us tickets so they went to that and my husband turned 37 I think this is at Red Robin and so this is an example I um this one actually was okay because it again they they randomly do it for you so I wanted it to be this big but like if they had made 
this or this one big, I would have had to do it over because, you know, so it sometimes does waste if you don't like where they place it, but, or where the printer places it, but I was fine with that one. So I think it's these um, pictures that make it look really busy on my project life, but that's a way to get in a whole bunch of pictures because I want, I want to include all those, but not have a really thick album. And then this is just Easter at my grandmother's. Um, I'm half Greek. My mom's Filipino. My dad's Greek and Italian. So we don't have normal, <laughs> typical like ham for Easter. We have lamb. So, and Greek food. So, you know, that way. Like, for instance, I wish that these two weren't next to each other like that. But, you know, I, I wish the one with my grandmother maybe was bigger. But what are you going to do? So uh, I put this across here. I don't, oh, I think because I felt like my legs were huge in that picture. <laughs> um, and so... Uh, put a little Easter egg. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so there it is. I was going to mention, I noticed nobody is <laughs> like even commenting on my stuff that I'm selling. I think that I might be asking a little too much for it. And I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, oh gosh, maybe they're like, yeah, right. It's not worth that. But I guess I was trying to make some money back, but then I also want it to go to somebody that, you know, would use it. So if you guys saw anything in those lots that you would like, um, you know, I, I can either rack it to you or, you know, if it's something that I didn't really care about, or I can just give you a good deal if you just want some separate stuff. So just let me know if there's anything you saw. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to donate a lot of that stuff. So anyways, um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.